Four people have been shot, including a police officer at a Walmart in South Haven early this morning, and we're told at least two people are dead. Police have identified the suspect as 39-year-old Martez Abram. Tonight, he is charged with two counts of murder. As Stacy Cohen reports, authorities in DeSoto County say that their active shooter training helped save lives. Another day, another community rocked by gunfire. This time, it's South Haven, Mississippi, a town of about 50,000 near the Tennessee border. Shoppers and workers at Walmart unsteady and overwhelmed after witnesses say a man came into the store around 6.30 Tuesday morning and opened fire. Walking out, get to the car, you heard a pop, 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 pop. At least two people were killed, both believed to be Walmart employees, according to local authorities. These people were doing the same thing that you and I do every day, showing up for work in an attempt to provide for their families, and they became victims of a senseless, violent act. The officers confronted the gunman outside the Walmart. Both the shooter and one officer were injured in an exchange of gunfire, a bulletproof vest saving the officer's life. Town Mayor Darren Musselwhite tries to reassure residents. This is an isolated event. This is not something that you know, is a uh, involved mass of people. It was a, a disgruntled employee. Just two weeks ago, the South Haven Police and Fire Departments underwent active shooter training, which the police chief and mayor believe helped save lives. You know, no city in America is immune to this. Unfortunately, it's sad, uh, but it just shows how important the training is and uh, the training that we uh, that we did paid off today. I'm Stacy Cohan reporting.